Um, I don't know how far I want to move Aliar forward. I guess same thing. I can just kind of use the thicket and hope for the best. I could probably also use Aliar to go into the convoy, get that extra torch and like shine a torch from up here. I'm trying to look for more of these things to light, but I, my eyes are very bad at seeing stuff like that. So I feel like I could have potentially just like walked right over one and I would be none the wiser. But I do believe uh, ETA has a torch. What if I move? Have where's where's uh where's my boy Alfred? Yeah, I was gonna say you should go ahead and get on this circle, so you can potentially engage again. Oh, okay. There's a thing on the ground to light up. I'm okay. I don't think Vander's gonna take too many hits. Yeah. All right. There's there's an axe person there. That's perfectly fine. Oh, you know, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? It's that time. It's that time. It's time to warp Ragnarok. Dude, I love warp Ragnarok so much. I don't know if it's the objectively best skill, but so far it's my favorite. I want to help you. Imagine like, wait, how like crazy can it be? Does warp Ragnarok go off the unit's magic stat or is it like its own base damage? Because like, imagine Someone like, someone like Louis, who's like a tank, and like being able to, to like warp him, do Ragnarok to somebody, and then like also be able to place a tank. Cause like, this is gonna backfire eventually if I'm putting Saline in a, in a spot where she can get attacked by too many units, like she could be overrun and, and die. Uh, but if I'm able to pair that up with somebody who is a little bit more resilient, maybe, uh, just imagine how cool that would be. I am gonna go get this item. Compact X, okay. Oh, you never know stuff like that is going to be useful or not. I'll go. I guess I could have potentially healed. Uh, Y'all are at full health. So I'm just going to keep moving everyone forward. Hit me with your worst. Ooh, 13 damage. Oh, and you hit. Wow. Oh my gosh. A second one comes out and actually hits me and then I the thing happens that I just said. No, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, you can go ahead, get in the circle. Boom. You're not gonna go up here. Alright, so still nothing. Oh wait, there, that's definitely where the boss is though, because that's the protection tile. What would the boss move off of that spot? I'd like to clear out this bottom corner here. What if... I come the whole way over here. Oops. The whole way over here. Let's engage. And see if that gives me access to the ability to, to, to kill this this guy. I can at least break him no matter what. But, oh, I could override. Ooh, let's see, Iron Lance is 23. What about Rider's Bane? Rider's Bane literally does 24. Let's go. Goodbye. And I'm overriding into the corner to hopefully uh, suss out any other hidden units in the corner here. Level 8. Strength up, speed up, resistance up, not bad, not bad. I think Alfred's going to turn out to be one of my better units. All right, I think, I think this is the border of the map. Uh, so I don't think there's any more units hiding down here. Um, you're level seven, you're still level six. So it's okay. I was like, 10? Nah, you know what, you know what, nah. This is what's happening. You can get the kill. Yeah, you're gonna get the kill. Goodbye. The divine dragon. And then Jean can just do some healing. Yeah, just just do some healing right there. What good fortune. Boom. I also forgot that he has his uh oops, defense tonic? That's, that's a permanent defense thing, right? No, duration of a battle. Okay. All right. I mean, at some point, I'll use that. I, I feel like I'm not going to use tonics all that much, but uh, let's go ahead and get that engage uh, meter the whole way up, just in case. And I think we're just about ready to... Look at this line of yellow. It is going to be some experience. Uh, so, ooh, we can use... We can get Jean some free experience up there. Get, using uh, Vander to get some experience that way is also not a terrible thing, but I really just want Bond Fragments out of that, so... That's the main reason why I'm going to take advantage of all those yellow spots.
if I was ever to do a maddening run, I definitely would not use the uh, the free experience or whatnot, just because I feel like that'd be uh, take away some of the, the the true maddening experience. Hard mode, I'm not sure. It depends on how if I feel hard mode is actually hard or if it's just like a well balanced mode. Like I mentioned before, like in my opinion, three houses hard mode is to me it feels like the most balanced, almost like normal mode. Um, and so like I will take advantage of like the online stuff like that, but um. Matting mode, that's obviously, that's like a completely different thing. Alright, so we got Bond Fragments out of that one. We can get some experience here. We will take five damage. I think I'm okay with that. He did hit. There we go. Alright, we leveled up the Bond. Staff Mastery grants hit plus 10 when using a staff. Saves also healing an additional 3 HP. Uh, there's not that many stabs that need a hit plus 10, right? I guess there's got to be some, but I'm not sure how, uh, consistently that's going to pop up. Alright, I guess you can grab this item. Another compact axe. We can probably sell some of these compact axes, I'm not sure. I guess I should keep one just in case, but I definitely don't feel like I'm going to be needing it all that much. We'll go ahead and get you there. Bond fragments. Here until the end. I guess I just attack. And just kill you. I, I kind of didn't realize that Alior was not a full HP. Uh, he's going to stay on his protection tile, so we're fine with that. We can come up. Oh my gosh, just look at this insane movement. It is. I love it so much. Okay, you can come up here. And that's good enough. I don't think AT has done anything uh, this chapter, unfortunately. Oh, Chloe, I didn't forget about you. Definitely not. Okay, okay. Um, who wants to do so? So what do you have equipped? Do you have a hand axe equipped? A talisman? Whoa, wait. That's a stat boosting on it, right? Resistance plus two. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so who do I want to give sort of stuff to. I think I'll just heal. Is that going to get John to level 3? It will. Let's go. That is magic up. His magic is higher than his strength. I am tempted to make John some sort of magic character if I get the ability to reclass. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll put you... Mm, that's just to obstruct. Oh, you know what? You should go up and heal. I don't know if I'm going to use Aliar to get the finishing blow or not. Kind of you. Also, am I going to have to take out this guy's health bar more than once? I think I do. Yeah, there's that crystal there. Okay. Uh, I can engage. I'll do my best. Yeah, I'm going to engage with, with Marth and see how much damage I can do uh, to this guy. I could potentially load Star Rush. With something like Liberation, and that takes out one health bar on its own. I'm down for that. A little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. We don't care about the villagers. We only care about the emblem ring that we already got. <laughs> I don't know. Lone Star Rush is actually pretty useful. All right, that's one health bar down. I cannot afford to lose. And I'd like to get the finishing blow with somebody other than Aliar. Level 7 Bond. At the start of a player phase, his HP is 20% or less. Restores 20% of the units max HP. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Um, I will... You can go ahead and get that spot there. Let's see. What, uh, what can we do here? He might break me. That's 10. And potentially 20 damage. I think that's... Fine. Slim Lance. I think we go Iron Lance plus one. I'm fine with that. Ow. Also, I could... Oh, right. I can move uh, away after. Perfect. Uh, Yunaka can definitely do some damage here. We can attack with an Iron Dagger, which is going to kill... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to give the finishing blow to Yunaka. I'm going to take this experience. Nice. 
But she seems pretty good so far. Units with like high speed and the ones that can double are generally good units. Oh, you're one experience away from leveling up. That's so sad. And get a talisman. I don't know who I'm going to give that talisman to. I'll probably just give it to somebody. We cleared chapter six. Now it's time to get the real answer as to whether I can actually get the three houses emblem rings or not. Uh, I'm going to save over this one. And then I'm going to check and see if that skirmish is still back at the other spot. Or if it's just, if it just like randomizes every time you open the map. Bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... It was you. What's the matter? I have a, uh, confession. The thing is... I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was What? A thief stole the ring? When I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and pow! There's the ring staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I, I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and kinda well lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. I mean, you're not really playing with so in the ring now, and once we said that we're the Divine Dragon, you seem pretty, you know, willing to help us get it, so... Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. Also, I know nothing about Micaiah, but like her design makes me think that I would really, really like Micaiah as a character. I felt like it's a really good design. Like I don't know if it's like had to help if it's just the new design or if she's always looked very cool, but I I like her design a lot. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. She sounds like Ash's mom. I was like, why does that voice sound familiar? <laughs> It sounds like Ash's mom from Pokemon. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It's the same voice. It's the same voice. It's the same voice. I am to blame. I don't know if it is, but it is. Her in all this, Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. At some point, once I have like all, all the characters or most of the characters, I'm definitely going to do a deep dive and being like, who voices all these characters and how many of them should have been familiar that weren't and how many were familiar that I just couldn't quite uh, put the, the other name to. Uh, like I know Clan, Clan's voice is like super familiar, but I just can't place like what I know him from. How about joining our forces? Say what now? We're on a journey to collect the emblem rings and defeat the fell dragon. Yeah, if you can hear the voices and help us see, then that'd be useful. I know it's a lot to ask, but... Will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it. Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. Uh, I am also under, uh, of the understanding that we're going to get a lot of new recruits and a lot of units, maybe like too many, which personally I, I like having, you know, more units than what you can use. Uh, is is pretty good because that encourages repeat playthroughs and trying out different combinations of units. I'm going to try to keep everybody viable for as long as I can, but is, it is inevitable that some units are probably going to start falling out of favor. Um, so I apologize if your favorites end up getting left in the dust, but I'm just going to play it, you know, mission by mission, chapter by chapter, and see what happens. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be no. the first to say... Papaya, papaya. I don't think you should ever say that. Uh, <laughs> Hiya, papaya, back at you, divine one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Let's hurry onward. We've got to cross I don't hate it that much, but it definitely was it, it like Aliar saying it is like, you know, the like old people trying to use like like newer generation slang where it just comes off super cringy and like yeah, yeah, not natural. Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian king when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The kingdom oh, that was such a long pause. I was like, did, 
did you forget how to talk? I am curious to see what the Kingdom of Mud is like. I guess we'll go to Brodia next. To get their emblem ring. And see what other ones we can find along the way. Alright, let's uh, do big map. On fragments. Very nice, very nice. And more. Ooh, 20 iron nuggets. Also very nice. No more glows on the ground, uh, but there are some animals. Ooh, southern free cat? Yes. Hi, kitty. I think it's our first cat. All right, I love cats. Cats are uh, basically some of my favorite animals, my favorite like, class of animals. Uh, that's a chicken that I still can't adopt, uh, which is very, very sad. Oh, that's a pigeon. No, now that I see it up close, that doesn't really look like a chicken. From the distance, I don't think you can blame me. It looks pretty chicken-like. I don't know if there's, like, a limit to how many we can adopt. I'm just going to keep adopting, like, every animal that I have the option to until I'm told that I can't anymore. Is that a dog? Hi. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. And I think we are good to depart. Um, ooh, I can mess around with the emblem rings now. I'll wait, I'll wait. Let's go to the world map. Let's go to the world map for now. I don't know if there's any uh, inventory management stuff that we have to do. I want to check on that skirmish and see if it's still there. I also want to see if we unlock a pair log. Huh? Is that... Hey! <laughs> Veil? You're the girl I met in Flora Mill Town. Vale, wasn't it? Oh, I don't remember her giving us her name. Oh, what a coincidence finding you here. I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time. It really caught me off guard. And she'll do it again. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. Oh, then how are you tracking them down? But they did give me something long ago. This. What is that? A pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, We'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. Huh. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There. There's like chains and stuff on her legs? Are you like an escaped prisoner of sorts? Help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends, as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. I'm sure we'll see her again. See again. There she goes. See you around, Vale. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure she'll pop up again. We shall see. Fun conversations are available. I right, so maybe we should have them then. So this is in its hideout. And that's chapter 7. And I want to check and see if there is still a skirmish back here. There is... Yeah, there is. Okay. Uh, let's... Can I do it from this menu? I can. I can have the bond conversations here without having to go back to the Somnial. I'm going to have this one. Uh, just because increasing the bonds I think is just, like, better. Because then I can increase the bonds further. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go right into the skirmish. And then after the skirmish, we'll do more inventory management and stuff around Sanyo. With you. Now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean. But we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. All right. Very, very good stuff. Yeah, I was kind of blinking out. I think at some point I am going to look up to see like what paralog I was supposed to unlock for the uh, for the three house characters. I, I feel like something weird happened where even though I bought the uh, the the thing that it might not take effect because I had already started new game. I don't know. I feel like something didn't happen right, and I think if I want to use that stuff, I might have to start a new game, which I don't want to do. So. Not entirely sure what to do about that. I mean, if we just have to do a playthrough without it, then we do. It's fine. Um, but I also want to make sure I didn't just, like, waste money and didn't get the DLC when I clearly paid for it. So, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and begin the skirmish. Because now I feel slightly closer to the level that I should be for this. And then, yeah, like I said, we'll do some inv inventory ma management uh, in the Samuel. Then we can go to the Paralog mission at the Bandit's Hideout. And then uh, we can... Oh, the settings menu now has options for music. You can change the music for player enemy phases and battles outside of the main story. Okay, I probably won't mess around with that too much, but... Still. Uh, so we have to leave two out, which is okay. What do we have to deal with? We got, we got lances. Oh, we definitely want our archers, for sure. We, uh, I think our axes will be pretty good. Uh, it seems like it's just kind of a good mix. I do think our magic units will be pretty good. Movement will also be good. Is there anyone that's, like, not looking like they'd be, like, super useful? Not really. I think we're definitely going to bring these two. Is there anybody that's like getting like too high level? We could probably do without Vander, maybe. Hmm, I like our magic. You know what? Alfred is the highest level. What if we sit Alfred out for for a, for a turn? And what if we? Wait, do we have to bring Aliar? We don't. That way, I don't overlevel him too much. Because he's going to have to be brought to, like, a lot of other fights. And put Yunaka in as a result. And so in situations like this, it might actually be useful to swap around our emblem rings. Because now I know that I'm not bringing Aliar or Alfred. So what if I just, like... Uh, can I just, like, remove? Yeah, remove Marth's ring. And remove Seeger's ring. And give them to, to one of these. So Marth... Uh, does do sword stuff, so that isn't going to be super useful. But I wonder. Uh, emblem rings. So what would this do? This, this okay? So the emblem rings do increase like strength and 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 dex and whatnot. And I would give you the ability to use a rapier, which could be cool. Uh, or I could give you. Ooh, I could give you Sigurd for dex and speed. As well as some really cool shenanigans. I'm gonna try that. Yes. Leave it to me. And then I want to give Bart to somebody who would benefit the most. Maybe someone like, like Bushron. Maybe. It's like somebody that's gonna be up doing like melee attacks anyway. Let's 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 try that. Let's just you know see how you know managing the uh, the emblem rings like this work. I'll pop a quick save. And we will uh, do the skirmish. Getting some achievements for, for deploying units. Right, I'm going to have to get some of those uh, rewards then. Uh, I was going to say, can I zoom in a little bit? I feel like I'm zoomed out a, a good bit. But I can break you, yes? Right, so that just kills you. Goodbye. Easy. To keep everyone safe. You will keep everyone safe. Uh, I can... Banner do that. Yes. 
I'm gonna engage. I have a, I have a plan. I have a plan. And that plan includes uh, Warp Ragnaroking. So that I don't need to worry about John taking any sort of hits that I don't want him to take. Level 8. Uh, speed resistance, not too bad. Okay, so now they're not in any trouble down there. I will keep uh, Bouchon right up here. I think I'll keep Chloe up here as well. You can get some experience. Nice level 8. Uh, HP and luck definitely could be better. Definitely could be better. Uh, I'm not all that worried about Vander taking a hit, so I could. Yeah, I'll do something like that. Draw them this way a little bit. I'm okay with that. And then what do y'all have to deal with? So there's a Lance unit. I think that's perfectly fine. I could put Louis so here. Bad. Use uh, Iron Lance and just wait. Got Surge. And then, Let's see, we got go. Yunaka. We got I am ready to serve. Clan. We got Let me at it. Etia. The Divine Dragon looked at me. I did. Actually, the Divine Dragon is not even on the field. Ow. Say a 30% chance to hit. 200 individual combats. Wow. We're already that high. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Ooh. So there they come. They're coming down this way. I like the speed that everybody's moving at. Slow enough that you can tell what's going on, but like fast enough that uh uh you know things are things are good. I will maybe engage next turn. We can go ahead and get this kill. Take that and that. Hop a nice level up to level seven. Uh more strength, dex. That dex is all like already really high. Uh speed, resistance, and build. And HP, very, very incredible level up. What if, what if I engage? Emblem, engage. All right, let's see, let's see how this works. Do I get the insane movement? I'm pretty sure I do. I, I definitely do. Um, I go from like here. Uh, the problem. Actually, what if I do something like override? Then I can override through. Ooh, 18 damage. Something like this. Here I, come. I haven't thought this out like super much, but now we're on this side. So I do, let's see. Ooh, Fort and Spirit? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We might have to take a few hits there, but Louis should be able to deal with all those attacks, no problem. Uh, I can... Probably take you out. Can I? I can't double. This unit right here is actually kind of terrifying. Iron Axe, Steel Axe. Only a 25% chance to hit. I cannot hit this thing to save my life. Hmm, Louis might just be up there. I need to get I need to get this this uh, ruffian this thief out of the thicket because that's increasing the avoid too much to where there's not much I can do about it. Uh, right, you're at twenty two out of twenty four. If I move next to you, heal. This is a this is a little bit of a tricky spot, I think. Let's see how how would this work if I just fire you. I might have to take two hits. We'll see. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I need to learn my limits of how aggressive I can be. And the bonds will go up level six. Very cool. Uh, 52 with magic. Okay. 
And you can make it over here. So, but you still can't, like, kill. I'll go here. I might take two dagger hits. Yeah, I probably don't want that either. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. What can you do? I'm gonna bring you down here. I'm gonna try this. I draw on your power. If I use the, the Lodestar Rush, will I automatically hit? I think I will. I will. I can only use the Rapier. That's one way to take out this guy. Perfect. All right, I'm definitely gonna be swapping around emblems a lot. They are way more powerful than I initially gave them credit for. So then I can have you come up here and then attack. You can do either Slim Lance, Iron Lance. That 48 versus 52. I'll take the 52% chance to hit me. Yeah, I see this. All right, cool, cool stuff. And we got 10 Bond Fragments. All right, who hasn't gone? Dan hasn't gone. You guys just have axes. What if... I, it doesn't really matter. They're going to come this way anyway. Well, actually, I want to make sure they come this way. So I'm going to wait here and then uh, chain guard, I think. And then you can just stay there. But I, yeah, I really wanted to dry, draw the, the Pegasus Flyers like over this way. Never underestimate me. Okay. Sort of like that, maybe? I did not realize that they were going to be that weak. Uh, HP, strength, and dex is okay. The extra HP for clan is probably pretty good. He's pretty low on it. Okay, seven damage. We can take that. Oh, you're going up there. You cannot, dude, you cannot do damage. You suck. Well, it says zero, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, friend took some damage. Come at me, come at me. Yeah, you're not doing any damage to, to Louis. Let's be real here. Boom, boom. Go through the motions. I, I like some of these. Some of these units can definitely do a uh, good amount of damage. Most of them are not doing all that much, so I'm not all that worried. If okay, they're coming, yeah, we should be able to clear this out pretty quickly. And of course, Etia can't even like reach. Actually, wait, she's got the longbow, right? How long does the long? How long does the longbow go? Um, range two to three. So I could get her, I could get her in this spot here. Yeah. So if I get you out of the way, I can use this to heal. Uh, I can do 20 damage just to, yeah. All right, just don't crit, please. Like I really want NTA to get like a hit in cause she didn't get to do anything in the last fight. Yeah, longbow. And also the longbow, like, again, it, like, there's no more weapon durability, which is, like, insane. So I'll be able to use this longbow forever, which I just love. Uh, da, da, da. So I'll send you up here. I'll just have you up here. Oh, wait, staff? Oh, right. He's lost, or he gained one HP. I'll take the free experience. I know I'm on a fort where I can just easily heal, but I don't get frame experience that way. So, nice level 7, HP, magic, deck, speed, and luck, pretty good. And then I can actually also come up here, engage. Uh, right, because I can't use my... Oh, I can use my staff without engaging. I'll engage anyway. That way I can at least, like, get the bond up and whatnot. Uh, I can just mend... Although Mend only has 20 uses, so maybe I shouldn't be using it too much. I'm sure sooner than later I'll be able to get the ability to to buy Mend at the at the shop in future chapters eventually. Um, alright. 
So from right here, I could also move way down here. I think that would be better for me. Yeah, oh, it looks like Steel Lance is just the way to go. Louis just does not believe in, uh, in taking damage. He's definitely a pretty, what I imagine to be a pretty effective tank. Got Surge. We can definitely start selling some of these Surges. Um, Ushram, why don't you get this kill right here? Take that. Our cause is just. It is. You're right. And the bond is up. Sword agility. All right. What do we have up here? I think what we I have guess. is you getting the finishing blow on this guy. Yes. I have a plan. That plan being you coming back here and attacking, what's the echo? Oh, attack two separate times. Oh, interesting. So wait, so if I fire this time, but then is that any different than just attacking? Uh, 16. I don't know. Uh, I'm not... I'm not sure I'm ready to do that quick math. I think I'd rather use Echo to attack two different enemies. And then if I put Vander here, there's a chance that he gets in the way of having John have to take an attack, especially if I kill with a hand axe. Okay, I was like, just don't miss the 90% chance to hit. And who needs to move? Ah, you do. Let's be careful. Let's be careful indeed. I might actually pop a quick vulnerary. Just kidding, I won't. I don't have one. I'm sure I could have probably traded with like, um, Saline or something. Oh. That is not what I expected. This is one more. Uh, I'm just skipping everything because I'm just going to go back in time. I did not realize that was going to happen. Uh, John was attacked, which means I need to redo my whole turn. Well, I need to stop. Uh, everything up here is fine. Louis attacked, Ushron attacked, Ushron attacked. So I think everything after this. We'll have to redo. Um, yeah, we'll just finish the fight from here. <laughs> 